These giant corporations vote Democrat. Why? Because they want government favoritism. Just remember this, Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. There's your argument. Which yes, party do you think is the party of corrupt big business, mm. cronyism? Uh, do you think it's portrayed accurately by the media? Because this is one thing I've seen a lot, and it drives me crazy. And, and it is remarkable to me. And I will, I will debunk this, hopefully, with just five words immediately after this clip. Everyone accepts this myth. <laughs> big business, they're the par- they're, they are, mm. uh, Republicans are yeah. the party of big business crony capitalists. Here you go, don't hear my word for it. Take when will you centrists realize if you play the corporate money game, you will always yes. lose to Republicans. I did too, it was a tablecloth. <laughs> they will always out big business <laughs> you, out corporate you, no matter how much how blood money you take or how far to the right you run. We are going to put pro-worker appointees on the NLRB, yes. not stooges, but big business. Because business owners don't work, apparently. So listen, (laughs) it's true. Uh, Most business owners lean right. Yours truly, G. Morgan Jr. But that's because the vast majority of businesses are small to midsize. And by the way, when I say small to midsize, uh, I'm talking about well into the tens of millions of dollars. I'm not saying 20 employees, you would be into the tens of millions. Although actually, there are plenty of businesses with 20. But we're comparing this to the big billionaire businesses. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it's true. Listen, the big billionaire businesses, multi-billion dollar conglomerates, cronious. Got it. But Republicans? (laughs) All right, five words for you. Okay? <laughs> Have you watched the news? Top five companies by market value, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Let me give, let me give you that yeah. again. Mm. Apple, Amazon, mm. Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Okay, Sorry, yeah, Google is, is Alphabet, which Alphabet. has both Google and YouTube. Without yeah. that change. Yeah. Much, <laughs> when you think of those, do you think of a bastion of right-wing conservatism? <laughs> no. These are by far <laughs> the biggest businesses in the world right now. So let's look at specific uh, partisan policies that these companies have actually supported. Let's go to Apple first. Um, Most platforms, you know, we've talked about this, most platforms, and we'll get to Facebook and YouTube, they they claim to be neutral. Apple doesn't. They're positively (laughs) boastful. Hey, Tim Cook, read an Aesop fable. Here you go. After (laughs) banning (laughs) boast, yeah, that's the first time I heard that. The CEO, Tim Cook, okay, bragged about banning Alex Jones after deplatforming and saying that their values were dictated, uh, or at least dictated what they would even allow for example, in their app store. Here you go. At Apple, we are not afraid to say that our values drive our curation decisions. Hmm. And why should we be? Why? I can't think of a good reason why. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're going to get to at the end of, it, of the political contributions and the macro policies that all of these companies support. I want yeah. to get to the individual sort of, uh, I guess, causes of these people, the ones close to their heart, because he's not afraid. Not afraid. He's not all. afraid no, not to all. speak Pro- out. Probably got cheered Tim for that. Tim Cook, I am glad that you are Great, brave enough woman. to stand yes. up for us. Hashtag All right, Jeff strong. Bezos, Amazon, uh, mostly given to Democrats, okay, supported a litany of their causes. Surprise. And for those who don't know, a very vocal, outspoken critic of Trump, okay, saying that, uh, well, listen, we, here you go, listen to him. It is a mistake for any elected official, in my opinion, I don't think this is a very uh, out there opinion, to attack m- media and journalists. What the president should say is, I love how he just this equates is right, media and this journalists. This is good, right. I'm glad I'm right being together. scrutinized. <laughs> And that would be so secure and confident. Okay. Uh, again, remember, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. So anytime <laughs> someone tells you big bi- Republicans are the party of big business, right. you're saying mm, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Amazon. I don't know. I just made up a new one. I guarantee you that one. Probably yeah. market cap at $1 trillion. Um, <laughs> Let's move on to Alphabet Google. Okay, uh, we know obviously that they censorship, uh, they, they, they employ censorship of conservatives. Like, yeah. The thing about Google is they couldn't be less politically diverse if they attempted it. Mm. <laughs> it would be very difficult. So for those of you who don't recall, obviously remember James Damore, the, uh, he was fired for questioning the far left yeah. policies. But yeah. here's what I love even more than that. So you would say, well, maybe that's a one off. Mm. All right. Next clip we're going to get to is uh, after Trump was elected, Google Alphabet, sorry. Uh, held a, a, this massive. Did you ever see? You've never seen this video. I the company don't wide, know. a massive company wide therapy session. I want to see. And yeah, yeah, okay, I'll just go to it okay. then. Yeah. Let's face it. Most uh, That's people why we here need better care are, for homeless uh, in this country. Pretty upset <laughs> and pretty Looks sad. Like he's been chewing for, on his uh, collar uh, <laughs> because of the election. The values that are held dear at this company transcend politics. Because we're going to constantly fight That's another to way of saying them. I'm lying to you People about politics. People are leaving. <laughs> exactly right. Staff is crying. We're going to lose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the first moment I really felt like we were going to lose. And it was this massive, like, kick in the gut. Well, 
Okay. I'm sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Thank God you, I mean, you probably passed menopause. Here's great. the thing. Great. Uh, do you notice something else that people, before, where they were talking about uh, journalism and media, they equated the yeah. two. Do you hear what she just said? I think a lot of people missed that. She said, I realized that we were going to lose. Whoa, wait. Oh, yeah. What? Are you, Chelsea we? Clinton's the head of what? Google? What's happening here? <laughs> what? We were going to lose. It yeah. assumes that every single person at Google, at Alphabet, yeah. at YouTube, subsequently, uh, agree with her. Mm. We, and when you look at their policy, you look at who they fired, like James Damore, you look at the memos that circulate, it is, it really is yeah. absolutely a political monolith. That's why I say this is above politics. It's not about left versus right. It's about right versus wrong. Really? You held mass therapy because the guy who is not we, meaning any Republican, won. And by, listen, we understand it's fine to outright, of course, ban violence, although they don't really do this on a lot of social media platforms. But YouTube, they've right. gone as far, they've labeled a lot of right-wing content um, as violations of, of terms of service. And it's not just shadow banning. They, they actually, they have this new term, on the border content. We've talked yeah. about this, but again, for people who on don't understand the politics of Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, here you go. So content that violates our guidelines, our hate speech guidelines, which prohibit hate anything that- exist. That's broad enough, but she gets even broader here. Against uh, individuals or groups. Second most, third uh, most powerful company in the world. promotes hatred against individuals or groups based on their characteristics, including race, gender, ethnicity, uh, religion. All of that content is a violative of our community guidelines. Okay. But content that's on the border is content what, what? that we no longer include in our recommendation algorithm, Wait. and it oh. can also be demonetized and uh, comments are disabled, etc. So we do what? our best to ensure that content that is on the border isn't uh, isn't fully distributed across well, the Well, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. It's like before you were talking about your violation hmm. of, it's like saying, yeah, we know that murder is, we have made murder a crime. Okay, yeah. understood. Right. Also, all the other actions. <laughs> <laughs> that could ever possibly Wait, all of how do we, lead to. How do we define those? They are, so we have, of course, murder over here, right? right. Yeah. yeah. And then under <laughs> gotcha. this umbrella, all of the other ones. <laughs> And we ban both equally. We ban all the other ones. <laughs> yeah. She says explicitly border on the border, which at first I thought it was like a commercial for a salsa. She yeah, says exactly. on the border, on they'll demonetize it. They'll take it out of suggested videos. Right. Yeah. Which isn't, yeah. That's, that's big, right? Because if, if, you're, if your means of income is to put YouTube videos out there, you need it to be in suggested videos. You need right. views. You and need this dollars. Is, this is, again, how, else, goes back how else do you get people to view your videos? Well, you can't. Except for and by the way, suggested. how do they become yeah. one of the most, uh, pro, what, not profitable, one of the most worthy, one of the most valuable mm. companies in the world yeah. by people creating right. content for their yep. platform. Exactly. So that yeah. is when we yeah. talk it's, about it's, workers' rights and revolutions and seizing the means of production. That's yes. not what I'm talking about, but I am saying a dishonest business practice when you say, right. please upload to our uh, our. Our, our platform here, and it's gone. Yeah. Wait, wait, that was it was one of all of the other things. Yeah. By the way, they've done this to change my mind. Yeah. Okay, we're not it's, dealing with their terms of service here. I don't understand this. This is, I don't want to be self uh, gratifying here. No, but no, if no. you are going to ban and demonetize, or demonetize at least, change my mm -hmm. mind. I don't. What could possibly be acceptable? <laughs> yeah. Right wing <laughs> content. I mean, granted, it's not. 12 year olds or eight year olds in drag queen tranny makeup tutorials. I understand that this is on More the border for That's you. That's trending page videos. material right yeah. now. <laughs> it's not quite a four year old singing happy birthday Mr. President like Marilyn Monroe above some kind of a sewer grate with it blowing up his right. skirt. I get it, I get it. You want fun for the whole family. <laughs> yeah. For you to understand that is first we have rape. Oh geez. Bad, yeah. mm. Mm. <laughs> rape, okay? <laughs> but then we have everything you just said. And so banned. rape, on the bad, border. and all the words you used. Margarita time it on the border. On Border. Okay. Uh, Microsoft, of course, we got. Listen, Bill Gates, uh, of course, we know Bill Gates. One of the, He was the wealthiest person yeah. in the world. Oh, yeah. Uh, now Bezos thinks it's cute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, awesome. I, I, we are at the point here where he, he doesn't really champion the free market that, that brought him to that no. point. Uh, he's been pretty critical of it. He's even supported far left causes like carbon taxes, which we'll get to. Why would a business support that if you think it would harm businesses? Well, again, this is why the big companies almost always support policies that hurt midsize and small companies. Uh, Bill Gates and his wife, long history, by the way, of supporting uh, causes like population control, uh, the abortion. Big fans of China. Yeah, well, his dad <laughs> served <laughs> on the great. board of, uh, of Planned Parenthood. I oh think we, yeah, I think we have a clip. One issue that really grabbed me as, as urgent uh, was were issues related to population, uh, reproductive health. When I was growing up, my parents were always involved in various uh, uh, volunteer things. My dad was uh, head of Planned Parenthood and loved killing babies. It was very controversial uh, to be involved with that. Think of that for a second. <laughs> the richest, most powerful yeah. man in the world's father was head of Planned Parenthood. 
Yeah. If that's well, not terrifying, well, and this is why they're basis. not kind of leftist, by the way. Yeah. After Trump cut, you know, the Mexico City policy was uh, Bush and Save, then it was reversed by Barack Obama so that we wouldn't be funding abortion overseas, and the right. reversal was reversed by Donald Trump. I know this is kind of nerdy, policy wonkish. The point yeah. is, the Gates is. I think that's how you say it. The Gates is, is the Gates is, is the Flanders is, 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 is. They that responded works. by giving three hundred and seventy-five million dollars to incredible. abortion providing oh, organizations. Oh my gosh! Wow, three hundred and seventy-five million dollars to to the, the, the services of killing babies. It's philan- oh. philanthropy. Well, and, and he, he's made you a say tomato. <laughs> I say get the forceps. Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft. Yeah. Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft. Anytime someone says big business, mantra. let's go to yes. face- Facebook. Of course, more censorship of the right. We've known this since 2016. Facebook, there was this big Gizmodo article where I found yeah. out my page was being throttled. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Imagine my surprise. I was reading the list. Okay, Ted Cruz, all right, Breitbart, and Chris Kyle Foundation. Ha! <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> One of these things that's not like the other. One's running for president. <laughs> One goes undercover as a tranny. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, uh, this has been going on for, for, for a, uh, it's been going on for years now, yeah. since uh, yeah. at least it was revealed in 2016. Here's how you know uh, that it's severe. Zuckerberg, when he was asked, couldn't name a single figure <laughs> no. from the left who was banned from the platform. Let me ask this now, question. Are, are you aware of any ad or page that has been taken down from Planned Parenthood? Senator... I, oh, I'm oh not, God. but let me just... Uh, how about MoveOn.org? Uh, sorry? How about MoveOn.org? I, I'm not specifically aware of those. How about any Democratic candidate for office? I, I'm not specifically aware. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm Someone get Tim Cook. He's not afraid to speak out. <laughs> <laughs> they should decide whether they're a publisher or whether they're a platform. Again, yeah, Apple, Amazon, argument. Facebook, Google, Microsoft. I know the order might have switched, but I'm, I'm going by rote. Um... <laughs> By the way, I know what you're yeah. saying. Well, what about big oil? What about the Koch brothers? This is what a lot of people talk about. Again, this is this is sort of the sleight of hand. Look, look at what's going on in the left hand, and in this one, you know, I'm fondling you. That's what happens with most magicians. <laughs> what is that Joe Biden? <laughs> no, it would be it'll be our president or Joe Biden. It could be anybody. Yeah. Hey. Namely, it was it was the great the great Mandini was his name. Oh. Right? Yeah, so I'm in Montreal. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you know, I left and he I left you. the changed man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's also a priest. So they rail dark. against big oil <laughs> all the dark. time. I Ow. think we have a clip, right, of getting big oil money, getting these corporate money, uh, corporate monies out of politics. See, I just fixed it by saying Do it. monies. Do it. Yeah. So there's nothing stopping me from being entirely funded by a corporate PAC, say from the fossil fuel industry, the healthcare industry, big you pharma. I'm um, entirely hundred percent lobbyist PAC uh, funded. It is imperative that corporations mo- not be allowed to give money to politicians bit. or to <laughs> the, the political thinker. system in any way, shape, or form. That yeah. is the most important rule and law that we need in this country. Okay, let's really? rattle through this really quickly. Top 10 Ooh. oil companies really? in the entire United States industry, like ExxonMobil, Chevron, all the big boogeymen, yeah. uh, don't even crack $1 trillion in, in value. Okay? <laughs> Combined. Compared to the companies we've just gone through again, can you say it with me? Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, $4 trillion about. Wow. Five companies. Google, Facebook, Amazon, wow. Apple, yeah. Microsoft. Did I miss any? <laughs> Amazon? Facebook. I think, yeah. yeah. They're worth four times, just five companies worth four times the entire United States oil industry. Wow. That's where do you incredible. think they're, where do their campa- uh, campaign donations go? 90%, we know roughly, from uh, Google, they give to Democrats. And by the way, yeah. uh, you can look at this across the board. Some people say, well, they give to both. Well, so does Wall Street. Wall Street is pretty split. A lot of these companies are split because they're just hedging their bets. Exactly. They want to give yeah. to both. Yeah. That's why it's important to look at their individual policies, look at their individual b- viewpoints, certainly of the CEOs, and oh, then man. look at the totality of the donations, most of which still go to Democrats overwhelmingly. And this is something else that I think a lot of people miss. Well, well these businesses, all of them, they support things like net neutrality. They support intrusive government policies like carbon taxes. Interesting. Right? Over regu- all kinds of red tape. Hmm. Why? It begs the question, Why? you have five, top five companies, they weren't created in some kind of a leftist petri dish. No. How do they all agree on these policies? Well, for, for the exact hmm. opposite reason that mid tier and small business owners overwhelmingly vote against those policies. So small yeah. business owners, middle, middle-sized business owners, they overwhelmingly vote Republican because they want an even playing field. Yes. They want to be able to run a business and make sure that nobody's getting an unfair advantage. Whereas right. these giant corporations vote Democrat. Why? Because they want government favoritism. Yeah. That's uh, the important yeah. factor here. When you look at a huge divide between all businesses and then the top five, it does beg the question, why? Look at these, these far-left companies, these huge companies where they support these leftist causes. Well, for the same reason that the giant banks 
supported big bank bailouts, right. where when you look at <laughs> yeah. it, the smaller banks and the middle tier banks, right. by the way, wow. still millions upon millions of dollars in these banks didn't support it. Why? Because the big banks know, of course, or you look yeah. at all these government regulations, that it's a drop in the bucket for them, but it could be absolutely uh, it, it, it could be crushing yeah. to these middle-sized businesses, to these small-sized businesses. They won't be able to burden these costs. Someone like Google, someone like Bill Gates says, hey, I can pay the carbon tax. You know who can? It's a business that's only worth 40 or $50 million, the upstart software company. My that's going to cripple their ability. Yeah. So I'm going to play ball with the government. This is important for people to note. And it doesn't matter. This is what I've always talked about. I'm not a, I'm not a guy who cares about big business versus small business mm. versus middle business, because guess what? I keep saying middle. I mean to say mid-tier. Mid-tier yeah. mid right. business. It's middle business. <laughs> I only yeah. care about good business, because if you right. have an even playing field, it doesn't matter the size of your business. What matters is that you're playing the game honestly. Yeah. What matters, I, I don't care if you go out, sell your wares, whatever you want to do, as long as you are not doing so at the taxpayer's expense, suckling at the government teat. Tesla. And it's really important to me for everyone to know this is one of those truisms that just isn't true. Well, Republicans are the party of big business. Well, we could also do a whole segment on Wall Street, but we don't need to. Just remember this. Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. There's your argument. Hey there, if you like this video, this is the part where I would usually tell you to subscribe, but I can't do it anymore. I'm going to tell you to subscribe, and then YouTube is going to decide that we can't reach you, even though you subscribe to this channel, and then I'll say hit the notification bell, and then the notification bell won't even be there anymore. I don't know what to say. More than likely, you'll find my face in a milk carton. But do what you can to stop it. It's just, it's just, it probably won't do much.